with the chatterbait there's a lot of discussion on what the best trailer is everybody wants to know what trailer they should put on there and the, the biggest key to me is figuring out trailers that don't have their own action and what i mean by that is you don't want a trailer that has like a big paddle tail on it that's going to try to kick against how the the chatterbait itself is vibrating i mean you take something like a you know the razor shad that that z-man makes to go on a chatterbait that's basically just a straight minnow. Even the tail is, is straight. It's not turned against where it's gonna catch water. Yeah, they've got rib sections, but that's more because the bait is gonna force the tail to wiggle. So the bait is imparting all of the action in the trailer. So, you know, my standbys for that, usually just a plain old spinnerbait trailer that you can, you know, split tail trailer that you get from Zoom. Um, this is a new bait I really like. Duo's making this new plastic now. They they originally made this bait in a three inch size for like Cherokee rigging, you know, where you put it on a ball head and put it down 40 feet of water and just let it sit there. But they made this bigger size and found out it's the perfect, you know, because it has so much action in its tail when it's moved. So you get a chatterbait that's that's vibrating it and that tail is so soft and it's got this, this bulbous end. It, it has just a ton of action. It looks beautiful on a chatterbait. Um, same thing with the, the, you know, the Yamamoto Zeko, same exact kind of deal. It's got some rib bodies, but it's basically a flat shad bait. It kicks really good, but it needs something to impart that action for it. So with a chatterbait, it's kind of counterproductive to, to have a tail back here kicking because all the action in the chatterbait is up at the head. The blade is putting all the action on it. So I don't want something going on in the front and something in the back that's kind of working against it. I just want this to be controlled by the, all that action that's in the head. So while that's great for you know throwing a swim bait on a jig head, it's not great for a chatterbait. So I'd say stick with a stick with a tail that the head puts all the action in it.